Hello everyone and welcome back to the Poke ETF channel, where we combine Pokemon and data analytics together to keep track of our precious collection. And in today's video, we will be going through Tempora Force's two-month post-release review price update and why you should not FOMO into buying cars. Because if you haven't noticed, tomorrow will be the release of Twilight Masquerade. And of course, whenever a new set is released, we always have that offender who always or subject to price manipulation. Uh, Temporal Forces, which was the latest and newest expansion, was released on March 22nd, and when it was released, people were going crazy why certain cards were going up and accusing it of price manipulation. And whether that is really true or not, whether it is, still, do not buy into FOMO, do not buy the newest cards even after release. If you are a collector investor, just don't buy it. It doesn't make sense to own a card. It doesn't make a difference owning a card now or six months later. For me, I'm at, I'm at a minimum six months after a set is released to buy cards from that set and so this video is about a certain cars that was um was guilty of price manipulation and we're using data to prove that even if that is the case just don't get into it don't buy into it don't buy into phone because cars will go down and so before we begin please hit that like button because it's the best way freest way quickest way to support the channel if you do find this channel and video insightful and valuable in your collecting and subscribe to the channel so that you are always up to date on the most quickest fastest price update swings trends because these videos are very um time sensitive and comment below on whether you're buying in into temporal forces now or waiting or if you are into twilight masquerade because personally i'm not really into the into the set tomorrow uh, who knows but i equate twilight masquerade to like battle styles of sword and shield i'm not really into it i still think that paldea evolve paradox rift temporal forces are still better or better than twilight masquerade but who, who knows i might be wrong and so let's begin. And so, of course, I always like to start off as a high overview, high level overview of the set. You can see that when it was released, after a week or two, the prices went up. You can see it started around $750, then it was nearing around $900 a week or two after. And people were going crazy. Almost every YouTuber, PokeTuber were going crazy and accusing it of price manipulation. And maybe that is true. But as you can see, prices are going down. And even two months after, prices are reaching to the same level, which is actually impressive. But in terms of experience, in terms of my experience of looking at data, wait a year. These prices will go down because, again, supply are too much, are so many. There's so many products out there. And, of course, you can see that the blue, which is a special illustration rare, make up the bulk of the set value, 50%. And looking at buying the most expensive cars, we have our Morty's Conviction, which is like around $87 Iron Crown. Of course, that is the one that people were going crazy, being, uh, price are being manipulated. You can see most of the most expensive cards are the blue. And the Hyper Rare, which is like the purple pink, I, correct me if I'm wrong, I still think that it's so undervalued because I know that Hyper Rare is equally, if not more rare than Special Illustration Rare. So it's kind of crazy to see that um, the Special Illustration Rare are like three, four, five times more expensive than the Hyper Rare. Yeah, I get that. Hyper Rare doesn't look as sexy or uh, good looking as the special illustration rare the art are not as good but really uh i still think a hyper rare rarity wise pull rate is equally as uh, rare as special illustration rare and so let's look at by rarity a uh, grand total and um, comments there are 142 comments it would take uh, it would cost you around 13 dollar at release date it went down four dollar went down 30 percent Uncommon, 110 uncommons. It will cost you around $23 at release date. Went down $7 to $16. Went down 30%. Then rare, if there's 28 rares in the set of Tempora Forces. It will cost you around $6.50 at release. Went down around $2 to around $4.50. It went down around 29%. Then double rare, there's 15 double rares in the set. It will cost you around $23. Went down $12. Went down 53%. Again, this is why I love data. I don't think anyone really take data like this, manipulate, pivot the data quickly. Again, I hope this these kind of stuff uh, gives you a valuable insight and really a good depiction of why you shouldn't buy into cards when it's released. Then, of course, Temporal Forces introduced an A-Spec Rare. There's seven of them. It will cost you around $68, went down $9, uh, representing a 13% decrease. Then Ultra Rare, we're getting more rarer. Uh, there's 18 Ultra Rares. It will cost you around $92, went down 36% uh, to around $56, representing a 39% decrease, more than the common, more than the uncommon, more than the rare. So this is why I say don't buy into the cards when it's released. Illustration Rare, even Illustration Rare. Remember that gasoline? People are saying, oh, price manipulation. Dude, across the board, there's 22 of the Illustration Rare. It will cost you around $100, went down $13 to around $87, representing a 13% decrease. Again, wait a year. I guarantee you that these cards will go down. Down. And then special illustration, oh, it's green. Uh, there's 10 of them. It will cost you around $373. Went up $26, representing a 7% increase. But even if that is the case, wait six months, a year. These cars will go down because the suppliers are more and more and more. The Pokemon company 
have a track record of going against um like hoarders or uh, resellers or like a lot of people hoarding product like like take evolving skies as an example like they will continue to reprint reprint and a lot of these products uh, will have temporal forces and so when there's more product there will be more copies and so even though there's an increase it will go down and then hyper rare there's six of them it will cost you around 67 dollar when went up around a dollar 50 to around 69 dollar representing a 2.1 percent increase so again as you get more rare of course the percent decrease or increase or less and so but we'll see i'll do another video six months after and show you that these cards will go down and so looking at the ultra rares is all red the most expensive cards are all red then as you can see the iron crown which is the top uh decrease uh it was 62 percent decrease went down seven dollars so again i'm not really going to go into each card the the moral of the story is a lot of these cards will go down and then looking into the illustration rare where things are getting more interesting of course we have that ghastly the most expensive illustration rare that is the card that uh people are uh accusing of price manipulation but let's get into the sin sino uh, which is the number 183 12 dollar went down four dollar the most decrease to around eight dollar seven dollar representing a 36.3 percent decrease again beautiful card i love these art but again these price do not justify well uh, now again i could think about buying this card around five dollar uh, i think five dollar is very likely in six months or a year Looking at the graph, yeah, it went down sharply. Uh, yeah, you can see that a week or two, that car went up from $12 to $15, but over the course of these two months, it's going down. And then, of course, let's talk about the gasoline. It was, 20, it was $22, $21 at release, and now it's around the same level, 6% decrease. Let's look at the graph. Yes, people around March 29th, April 3rd, a week or two after release, people were like accusing people are buying gasoline or certain people are manipulating the price. Again, even if that is true or right, again, trust in the supply, trust in the Pokemon company, trust in... Yeah, the supply that there's so many supplies out there. Yeah, it's holding strong. But again, in a year, we'll see whether this car will go down. And so let's get into the special illustration rare. Uh, there are greens and red. Of course, the most expensive, the top five most expensive are all experiencing increases. Uh, the iron leaves is the most decrease. It was $57, went down $20 to around $37, representing a 34.2% decrease. Beautiful card. Again, a lot of supplies. We'll see whether it will hold around $38. I think it'll go around $25. Looking at the graph, yeah, it's just steadily going down. Then, of course, Raging Bolt is the second top increase. It was around $48, went up $15 to around $65, $64, representing a 32% increase. Looking at the graph, of course, this is one of those cars that were subject to price manipulation. When it was released, it went up $40 a week or two. People were like, what? But people were like looking at TCG Player, noticed that people are buying out copies. But even when people are buying out copies that week, look at the graph. There's a downward trend. And so yes, you can see that the last week or two, uh, May 18, uh, it was going up now. But again, wait a year. This will go down. Then, of course, our Iron Crown EX number 206 special illustration. Where this is the card that people were saying. Price manipulation. It's the next Umbreon VMAX with the moon. Uh, $56 went up $18 to around $74, representing a 33% increase. Again, like that Raging Bolt, uh, it was $56 at release. Went up $50, $40 to around $100. It broke $100. And people were going crazy. There were so many thumbnails about this Iron Crown. But again, as you can see, it went down around $64. $65. Yeah, it's slowly creeping up, but again, trust in the Pokemon company, trust in the supply. In a year, this will be around $50, I would say. And so then looking into the hyper rares, again, as I said, these are really undervalued compared to the special illustration rare. They're the same pull rate, the same rarity as the special illustration rare, yet they're like six. 600% less than the special illustration rare. Like the Iron Crown is $13. The Hyper Rare Iron Crown is $13. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I still think it's still too much. I still think maybe it will be $10 in a year. But I would say these will be a better investable card than the special illustration rare. Again, in terms of investing, this would have more upside than downside. The illu special, illustri special illustration rare has more downside than upside. Again, yet I understand that the art is not as great. Look at the art. Yes, it's like not as cool as like the moon but again in terms of investing i would rather bet more on this than the special illustration rare and so looking at the graph it's holding strong yeah again these are rare equally as rare as special illustration rares and yet uh, it's not um as expensive and so uh, we'll see how this will go and then of course gouging fire ex number 214 eight dollar went up three dollar representing a 33.1 percent increase top increase among all hyper rares again i'm not really into these cards but in terms of investing if you want to invest these are the cards that i would have to say have more upside and so 
so with that hopefully you enjoyed the video hopefully these kind of data you appreciate these kind of data that you want more and if you want more please hit that like button uh, and subscribe to the channel so that you're always up to date on the most recent price swings price trends and comment below on what you would like to see more and whether you're going to buy twilight masquerade release after tomorrow and whether you're going to buy into temporal forces or wait like me six months or a year after and so with that go forth and collect them all